man, you come straight out of a cone. I think Dexter's lab daddy was selling cocaine out that house. And that's <laughs> that's because hear, hear me out, hear me out. Cause you can't have no lab that big and that light bill don't show that. So somebody that is, was paying to keep this on. That is true. Like, why, like, where's the electricity coming from? Right, where the dad is not even like even questioning. Like, I'll be out there digging in the backyard trying to figure out, like, yo, because if he doesn't know about the lab, then you really like in your head, like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> no, I, I used to think that as a kid too. I was like, um. Where's all the electricity? Like, is his dad not mad or his mama not mad about the bill? Because I knew my mom used to yell at us about leaving lights and stuff on. Listen yep. here. <laughs> Maybe that's like a black household thing. I don't know. <laughs> there ain't. That's why I said somebody is doing something illegal in that house. Yeah, because they, they, they not paying attention. Because like, was, was it his mom just a regular house mom? How regular like, house mom. That That's was something about her booty, though. She had a body on her. She hey. able to get a BBL. She was out here walking in heels the whole time. All she did was clean. All like, that did. was it. All she did. You know what? You might have a point. And we know what his daddy did. They never showed him go to work. Nah, yeah, and you know what? If you look, if you look at his character design, he looks like like he looks like uh, what's his <laughs> from Breaking Bad? <laughs> Don't it? I'm t- yo, I'm telling you, it all fits. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, I'm about to Google him right now. I know I see his face in my. I I, I he see just it. looks. Nah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, because he looks regular, but he looks like like the regular dad. But you like you know he holding on some stacks though. Like he don't yeah. like um. Uh, Marty from Ozark, like he just like he just looked like like, hey man, there's something hold more on, to hold you. Hold on, I got, I got, I got, <laughs> it's I got, one picture on. I pulled up. He looks so sinister. <laughs> Is it the the yellow eyed one? No, nah, he's like staring like. Oh yeah, well, he like this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, he just. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys this. Uh-oh, this I'm, so about, I'm about to try to pull this guy. Definitely. Oh. Sure. oh my gosh, yeah, he's like screaming at his bed. Yeah, he looks like he's. Definitely a drug dealer. That's what I'm telling y'all, man. This dude, is, and then that, that that Muffin King episode he had. This man is slanging, bro. Did y'all know? Did did y'all know that Dexter's bio? They said his dad was a U.S. Army, was in the U.S. Army and served in the Vietnam War, but later became a drug addicted criminal. This is on the. This is on look, the. Uh, this look is on at the, that man on the week. Everything, everything you, everything you just what? said. Does that oh, wait, not no, look like no, that? Never mind. No, they gave me Dexter from Dexter's dad. I'm oh, like, oh. Like, I was about to say, bro, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't care. It's still it, Max. It, it, it's six. It's six. It yes. Yes. That, yeah. This this is the face of the man selling hard ass dope out here in these streets. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> the mu- the muffin king was a different reference. We just didn't catch it. That's what that was. <laughs> Them squirrels was the dealers. That's what it was. His but occupation my- is an office workman and a stuntman. A stuntman. <laughs> it's a it's a drug. He's not clearing that's, trucks like that. That's a drug. Front. In a in a station wagon. In a- Come on, man. Yeah, he's, he's- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I'm your host, Will Farrow, and I got some of my uh great friends here with me today. Young Deuces, Grace Arby, and Lark Scene is in the building. As y'all know, we always come with things you know from nerdy to pop culture, comic books, Marvel, DC, anime, cartoons. So you never know who's gonna show up, and it's always great to see in the comments with people like, Yo, I did not know this person knew all of that type of knowledge like that and stuff. So it's always good to have a hug where y'all can come together and today is no different because this is our hear me out episode all right so to hear me out if you've already watched the episode deuces is very familiar i'll be having some wild ass hear me outs like you just saw the at the beginning of the episode with dexter's lab and his daddy selling cocaine which i think is very true and i feel like that's where they got breaking bad from that's just my opinion yeah but that's what we're all going to do today. I'm spreading the hear me out so everybody gets to say their most random and craziest thoughts. And today, our topic is going to be day job. 
jobs. Now, before we start off, I know everyone here has had a job. Yep. Give me your standout day job that you ever had. Well, just job in general. Just your standout job you ever had. I'm going to go first. Blockbuster. Hey. Wow. I went block, at Blockbuster. And it, mm. yo, on Friday nights, cracking. <laughs> that sounds like an amazing place to be. I'm honestly. telling you, nothing makes you grow an ego more than being in charge of people's late fees. <laughs> <laughs> that power you have. Oh my gosh. You can clear. You can yeah, clear. I can clear. I can, clear. Ah. I can clear them out. And then sometimes I'd be looking, I'd be like, if we had very much regulars come in and stuff. And so if you were a bitch or if you were an asshole, oh, I was on your head. Because we'd be my favorite part was where you got to go drop the video in the slot, and we'd be waiting because it's like if you ain't here by ten forty five, anything you drop from now, you Doing late. Countdown. You late, yeah. Because <laughs> we'll see. I tell you, people will come up and knock on the windows like, yo, 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 I just dropped mine. Nope. No. 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 Nope. Because whatever was in there, because you know, like you got to stock everything back onto the video. So yeah. whatever was left in the bin, that was considered next day. So if it was due oh, today, yeah. oh. yep. <laughs> Yo, I used to love watching that. Maybe just like I'm on time. I'm on time. No, you not. No, you not. Go like this. Mine's mine's would have to be. Mines would have to be Best Buy. So I worked in the media section of Best Buy, so CDs and stuff like that. What they don't tell you, unless you know somebody who work at Best Buy, is that um, you get 40% off on all car electronics. So me being a hood nigga as myself, and yes, I had a I had a hand me down Dodge Neon, but I had the most souped up jacket ass down <laughs> Dodge Neon that you ever seen in your life. Nigga, I had two 16s, I had two Sony Explodes and an amp in it. I had the lights that light up with the beat, bro. I'm out. So <laughs> in in Milwaukee, we have this thing called traffic, right? So it's after the club, you just kind of go down the street and just you just cruise back and forth. It's a it's a whole bunch of people in their whips. You see in big body Chevys, you see in Caprices, but who pulls up in that Dodge Neon? Your boy Deuces do. And everybody looking at me like, bro, why are you out here in traffic stunting in the neon until I turn that system on and I'm out drowning everybody? Like, hey, God. I love that job so much because, bro, I like I said, I that was probably that was peak hood nigga them. Yep. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I was out here. them. Yo, there was that era of the radio faces when you oh, went to Best yes. Buy. Like, yo, I gotta oh, get my radio sit. Yo, watch uh -huh. this. Yo, it was a whole I era. A, for that. I had a CD wallet in there. This is this, bro. This is when ah. Trapper Die was 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 cracking. Kings of Crunk. So Little John in the East Side. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Like, bro, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was out every Friday, Saturday, whipping in my neon. Just out. Here, like, <laughs> I love that for you. I really love that for you. That sounds like a great time, it right? Larsen, what about you? Um, unfortunately, I had no like cool jobs like that. Which <laughs> I wish I did. Um, the coolest job I had though was I would say Jamba Juice, which I'm drinking right now. Um, it was fun. I used to get a discount, fifty percent off, um, wow. or I would just get stuff for free. Yeah, it was. Okay. I was. I. Eating every day, every day. No, that's, um, you, that's a great dog. No, that's that. That is yeah. up there with us. That's up there with that us. That I, is. Had a, yeah. I had a supervisor too. He was like, I would tell him like, "Oh, can you ring me out?" He would just look at me. He was like, "If you don't take that shit and go eat," I'm like, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> so I get hey. stuff for free. My sister would come. She was pregnant. She would always bug me for Jamba Juice at the time. Um, yeah. I love that. Was like a strawberry bowl. Yeah, yeah, like I used to make everything or just like make something new and be like, oh, I made this. Just be creating stuff, yeah. Yeah, hook people up. It would just be scary though because like people have food allergies. So like, mm -hmm. you really yeah, you gotta be careful. Like cross contaminate. They were like, I can die. I'm like, all right, well, it's a lot of <laughs> trash like, hey. in my hands. <laughs> right? Um, I'm allergic to wheat. They're like, didn't nobody yeah, say I'm like, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm allergic to strawberries. I'm like, why are you here? Like, that's right. all our drinks. So, right. yeah, can that you was. Can you recall a drink that you made that wasn't on the menu and you was like, oh, wow, this is fire. That I made that wasn't on the menu? Um, no, I can't. But like, you know how they have like the secret menu? 
Yeah. Um, yes. One is called the Thank You Jesus. I think it's yeah. It it never was on the menu because you know. Um, but it was like really like sour, and I was like, why is it called the Thank You Jesus then? Like, <laughs> so, ooh, like maybe you look like you caught the Holy Ghost. I don't know because it was like. <laughs> um, but I did. I made that one. And I was like, damn, people want this. Like this is. It was just it was just a sour taste to it. Very sour, like worse than the strawberry surf rider. And that was like, mm. yeah, yeah like, I, I don't know why they name stuff after after God and the Lord that don't taste good. I had that <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was like, maybe it's the face you make, like, ooh, like, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, there was this drink I had in New Orleans. It was called the Walk Me Home Sweet Jesus. And it tastes horrible, <laughs> but you, but you, once you have it, you know why it's called that, because it knocks right. you on your ass, and it's just like, yo, just Jesus, I ain't getting home. home tonight, guys. Just get me home, Jesus. <laughs> just please, just get me home. Like I saw how to get it, but it tasted horrible though. It was just like, ugh, y'all drink this? Enough to get like that? Uh, Grace, what about you? Yeah, man. Um, my first job was at, I was a car hop at Sonic. And I would hook everybody up after the football game. I got all my peoples. I was like, what you want? You want a whole club sandwich? I got you. <laughs> like, I'm getting you everything. I I <laughs> I was I, I was the first one to have a job. So we I worked at Sonic. And I remember on my MySpace, it's probably still on my MySpace. I still have pictures in my Sonic gear with my visor, like thinking <laughs> oh. I was you in my sonic in my red sonic whatever that thing is and and then the the visor i was so cute besides smelling like french fries every night i made some good money and i will say sonic has some of the flyest like gear for like work i will say that like I'm like the you, you, you found yeah. my myspace you would see <laughs> i'm gonna look that up i'm gonna look you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make it full circle. They got now. You gotta be a, the uh, a, a endorsement person for Sonics. <laughs> Actually, that's the only fast food place. Like I would, there's not one here in LA. But whenever you go into the country, yeah, more, you know, yeah. you'll find one. And I, I don't mind stopping there. Like they've never, you know, let me down more than any other mm -hmm. fast food restaurant. I'm not I'm even, sure. you know. Yeah, you want to know, you wanna know a, key, a, a a secret to still street promo? So in Milwaukee, we have we only have like we only got one sign. No, we got two. And I put geek set stickers right by that drive-through. Hey, when right. You, when I tell you the we get tagged the most out of like where our stickers are, they're on gas stations and everything. More people tag us at Sonic than anything because <laughs> hey, listen here, niggas still go and fuck with Sonics, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah. Sonic, yeah, Sonic a gym. I miss yeah. Sonic so much. Cause from my hometown, like we have, we have one. I grew up in Bakersfield, so it's like a country place. Um, and I don't see him out here at all, so it like makes there, me sad. Cause the closest one is up yeah. north, going there. I think like Santa Clarita, like that's like the closest one. I say, yeah. yeah. But hey, that just means that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's just a day a day I road trip for Lancaster, us to go to Sonic. Like near, yeah, right. Yeah, I think Lancaster. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what a crazy what, thing you, about what, Sonic? What when you go? Oh, I get the. Uh, they got good ice. Yeah, they got the, they got the, the fire ice. ice. They got fire the ice. ice. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my did, god. Why did is that such a black staple? Why does why do black people like the ice like the black so much? <laughs> it's the perfect mixture. Ice. Yeah, it was a perfect mixture. It didn't melt fast. It felt oh. like the ice soaked in the juice somehow. And so, like when you it had it and it was kind of gone, it was like flavored ice still. Yeah, it wasn't watery. <laughs> Yeah, it's just nope. shocking. It's like because it's ice, yeah. and it was, and it seemed like then, and they sold it in bags too. I don't know if what? you do that. Like, yeah, you, yeah, you buy, if you go to Sonic, you say, "Can I get a bag of uh, ice?" And they'll they have to make you one. I think it's well, like also you can do it at Chick Fil A too. I mean, Chick Fil A got decent ice too. Oh, and you can buy Chick Fil A got good ice too. Yeah, yeah, and you can buy the you bag. Can, you, can, you can ask for a bag of ice. Another thing I knew too because I used to work at Sonic. Like, seems like as soon as this is done, Sonic. <laughs> Clear in the freezer. I mean, <laughs> Yo, I need I need a foot long hot dog and three bags of ice. That's it. Like three bags of ice. You heard what I said. And, <laughs> something, and something crazy another people didn't know was that 
like the job that Grace had, that was like still like waitressing. And so, you know, like if you work at a restaurant, they pay you like $2.38 plus tips. You want to know how much it was back in 2005? How much? What? Like two, under two, under $3. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Three dollars. Well, wait, how much did you get paid? We were getting like two fifty, three, like three dollars an hour. Plus Yo, so okay, so that might have been my store then. Yo, oh. no, y'all, y'all position was getting paid minimum wage plus tips. So y'all oh, yeah, were getting, getting paid. That was considered tips. Yeah, we we were. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo, y'all was racking up like the one we worked at. Y'all got paid eight twenty five an hour plus the tips you got. That was an also I thought that I thought that was a sonic thing. I didn't know that was just our store there. Yeah, because I was like, yo, y'all racking the fuck up. Wait, where where was this at? Will I was in this was in Port Arthur, Texas. Jeez. Yeah, and I was looking, they was like, Yeah, we make we make because they made the same as us. It's just they got tips. Cause we, I was in the back, I was the cook, and we did way too much. I, we did way too much. Oh man, we had so much fun. We were having tater tot like like fights and shit yep. we, yo, we had <laughs> ice ball fights we take the ice pack them like little snowballs and just start throwing them we had a freestyle we had a whole freestyle battle in the cooler like the freezer yo. part with the cooler part people would come in and we just freestyle besides my like i said besides smelling like french fries and and the bathrooms clean the bathrooms the bathroom oh, i hated oh. cleaning. first of all no. there was this one time i hated that, that somebody, rotation somebody had i must have just just went crazy in there and just it was all over the walls and everything. Shit. And I, I yeah. told them, I was like, I yeah. will quit right now if you guys make me clean this. I will quit. And, and we the, was crazy. power washer. Yeah, no, yeah that's, one that's of the what... chefs was like, I'll do it. And like he just went back there. I was like, hell no. This is not every, in my description. <laughs> my every, job. Person that, every person that worked at Sonic that went through that. Like we had <laughs> we had the same we had the same because the bathrooms are outside, so it's not like you can walk through and go. It's like it's kind of like how the gas station is, but without the key. You could just walk in there, go use the bathroom, and then come back oh. out. Oh, yeah. See, I, worked at, I worked at Pizza Hut, so you still had to go in, but it was the same. It was like I nah. hated that. I hated that rotation when it was my rotation. I'm like, damn, dog, I do not yeah. want to clean this motherfucking bathroom. Right. Yep. Same story, same story is great. Somebody blew that stuff up on the walls, and the chick mm -hmm. was like, yo, I'm not cleaning it up. And then the, the manager came in the back and was like, yo, man, I need one of y'all to volunteer to go clean this stuff up. Oh, I was yeah. like, do it. <laughs> I like yeah. you do it. Yeah, I like I ain't doing it. I'm telling you, I was like, I will quit right now. I will walk we, out. You may yeah, don't blame me. All me. I, was like, oh, <laughs> I would, but I'm flipping these burgers. You know, these 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 four for four specials you got going ain't going ain't going right. Right. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, smoked. We're not, <laughs> we not trying to pass no E. coli to our customers. So right. Right. That's but so uh, it is gross. To answer your question, though, Grace, uh, mine was the. Jalapeno Sonic Burger. So it was like the Ooh, super yes. Sonic. That yo, that is mine. It's just like it's like it's two meats, the cheese. I don't know what it is about Sonic cheese. Phenomenal. This the only like sliced cheese I know that actually melts and it do the like it melts with it. And it's just jalapenos on it and mustard. It's so good with tots. You gotta get and, this uh, episode sponsored by Sonic. I mean, we are, yeah, <laughs> hey, we're do that. Hey. And a and a lemon berry slush. Oh berry slush. Ooh, yes, yeah, slush. I, I like the strawberry. Strawberry limeade still is like it still hits. The, I was just about to say that. Yeah. 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 So hard. Yeah. That and a supersonic burrito with extra jalapenos Ooh. and my ranch yeah. on the side. I will still order that to this day. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. still hits. Yeah. Bro, Sonic, yeah. what, what Sonic did is they they um they unlock the hood nigga menu because you know we all mix sodas. It's like all right, I'm gonna do a little bit of Sprite with a little bit of this. <laughs> so once they added the flavor burst, you like yo, I can I can mix anything. You 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 in there, <laughs> bro? You in there looking like the beginning of of Mario Kart? You like all right, I want some of that. All right, give me a little yep. bit of that. Ooh, bring that down there. <laughs> <laughs> And they'll do it for you too. They'll yeah. do it. They'll, and if, yeah. and if it, it ain't to your liking, they'll go remake it. Uh -huh. They'll tell you that it's like, yo, let us know if you don't like and it, and I, we'll I go still, change it. I still always tip my car hop whenever they come. Oh yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah. 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 Because yeah. you got to think they committed to, one, especially if you go to one where they're committed to the skates. Oh yeah. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, it, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I never skated. The only people that skated were the men. Yeah, Damn. that was both, that was how mine dead. was. They were that man, was they could fly on those skates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had this one dude with like high shorts, and he always had his shirt tucked <laughs> in, and he was just. 
This motherfucker will, I, every time you catch him, he just be it'd be like he just gliding and it ain't even kind. He'd be spinning around like this and shit. Rolling yo, to the car. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm like, yo. <laughs> and they be hitting him though with ten dollar tips, like five, like yeah. yo, like they'll come back with like a whole I'm bunch of money. Working for these tips. Yo, like, yeah, yeah, was, I wish I had got really good at rollerblades back then. <laughs> the four wheels, too, at that? Like it was the four wheels. It was, it was the four wheels. Yeah, yep. no roller skates. Yeah. Spinning on concrete, really? yo. Like, really? not no. And it's unstable. No like, it's yeah. Like, they were trained in Atlanta and came back and just. Right, and it was just like I got this. I couldn't be a stripper, so here we go. Speaking of right. speaking, of, speaking of people with jobs, Usher would have killed in Sonics, then for sure. <laughs> Usher would have been killing in Sonics <laughs> for sure. He have got lower, did a split, and then just rise right in front of the car with right. your son. Oh man, he was uh, sorry. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Remember those Sonic commercials? They used to have those good Sonic commercials. They still do, though. They still do. That's why when you said it, I was... They they got got new people. It's not the two white guys no more. No. Oh, Oh, no. As a matter of fact, um, shout out to Darren Brand. Darren Brand and uh, Tim, I always... I I don't want to... You know, formerly known as Tim De La Ghetto, they actually did a Sonic commercial for the MTV Movie Awards. Wait, Will, Will, you know, you got to say Tim... It's it's either Tim B.C., which is before Chantarangzu or Tim AD, which is after Daylight Ghetto. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. Tim shot. Tim shot a rabbit. Chantarangzu. Chantarangzu. Tim shot a <laughs> So just Shut say BC. Because when, if, if it happened when he was going by Chaturangzu, then it's BC. If it's happened when he's, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, if it's, I mean, if it happened when he was known as De La Ghetto, I mean, then if it's happened when he's Chaturangzu, then it's AD because it's after De La Ghetto and he's now Chaturangzu. But if it That's happened true. when he was De La Ghetto, then it's BC because it was before Chaturangzu, he was De La hey, Ghetto. That's a clever. Good one. Very clever. That's very it. clever. That's very clever. I told I him that. He liked it. Yeah. I fuck with it. So. <laughs> he's like, I like that. I'm going to use like that. <laughs> I'd have figured it out now, Tim. <laughs> Let me. There you go. Y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> like, you know who I'm talking about. You don't know too many Tims, no way. This is like, who ain't besides Tim Allen? Ain't nobody taking Tim and just running with it, right? right. Now. Because when I when I hit when I say the word Tim, I think of Tim Allen. I may think of Tim Hardaway, but I really definitely think of Timothy Chantarangzu. You know what I'm saying you got Tim locked down until I can figure out how to say it right. So. <laughs> Yeah, but Larson, you can tell us what's your favorite like go to Sonic. Go to Sonic. I'm very simple. I love their popcorn chicken. Oh, that was yeah. the what, what, what sauce yes. you what sauce you, you picking? That right there. Ranch, ranch and honey yes. mustard. Yes. Ooh, they had some good honey mustard. Yeah. Ranch would hit. I don't know, like I don't know what they did, but the ranch in their packets were <laughs> fire. <laughs> it was like yeah. charge now, huh? huh? I, I hope not, but they charge I, I hope well, not. I hope not either. <laughs> like, right, I go up there and go grab now, some charging. Right. Oh, and then, I mean, everybody's um, charging for sauce now. Yeah. yeah. No, they they really are. But that in the cherry limeade, I would say. Ooh, yeah. That was my go to. Yeah. Sure. I wasn't I wasn't going too crazy with mixing stuff because if I didn't like it, I feel bad for telling somebody like hey, fix this. So, cherry cherry limeade. Yeah. I think the only one I did try though, didn't they have like a green apple flavor too? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they had a green yeah. apple. That one yeah. too. And then that's yep. it. I simple, simple lady. Yep. Ugh, yeah, you so you cool. was right at the top of the menu. I feel you, man. <laughs> <laughs> popcorn chicken. Yeah. They're like, anything else? No. <laughs> No, that popcorn chicken hit. That like that's the one thing I'd say when they tell us drop popcorn chicken, it'd be gone like that. Oof. Yeah, that was I don't know what it is about theirs. It was like it tasted like they had just cut it from an actual chicken. From the chicken, I yeah. caught yeah. and plucked and all the chicken. Was <laughs> you want you, you want you want to really get in your combo bag? You get the popcorn chicken and then you use the Chick Fil A sauce. That combination, crazy. Mm. What? Oh, you didn't open. Yeah, you didn't. We need a Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I need a Sonic. Yo. Like, I just thought was... Deliver Sonic this far. How far are y'all going to go out? Like, how right. far can you go out? Can I don't I care if it's extra? cold. I don't, I don't care if it's cold. Sonic runner. We, can't, we, do. we need to take a day trip and just go do a Sonic run. I'm down. I'm so down. I'm a whole I love too. food, so I'm here. Uh, yeah. 
So I'm gonna hold y'all to that. But yeah, man. So I, the reason why we talk about day jobs is because again, like all of us have had one. And so I wanted to know from y'all, like, I'm just going to throw a couple of like, you know, some, some heroes out there, some different characters and stuff that, you know, are really famous and known for like their heroism and all that stuff. But if that was not the case, what kind of day job would they have? So I throw I throw out an example for right now: the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> <laughs> if Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup had gotten rid of all the crime, crime is gone. They'd aged up a little bit and stuff like that. Don't fight crime no more. What would their day job be? Who's gonna go first? <laughs> You guys might as well drop it, Grace. Yeah, you might as well. I mean, they sound like strippers just by their name. The Powder Puff Girls. They're going to be at Pete Valley. They're going to be at Tucker Lee. They're going to be in Pete Valley. Yo, dropping at the paint. Dropping in the splits. Follies. (laughs) They would make some bank. They would make a lot of money. (laughs) And now coming to the stage with the super strength, laser vision, and red hair that falls to her ankles, Blossom. (laughs) I can see it. I I could see it. I could see it. It's it's either that. It's either that. Or they going like they gonna be some city girls. They gonna be out here scamming and scheming and running that bag up. Hey, <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. They gonna be city girls out here because I you can see. they're all like to they all they're already adept to clicking up. You know what I'm saying? We see. Right. You know what I'm saying? How they roll and you know what I'm saying? They they ain't dumb. So it's like you know what I'm saying? They gonna be like, all right, look, we done being heroes. Let's get this money. And they gonna know they they gonna they they like I said they ain't dumb so they don't they gonna know they are gonna be able to use their looks they are gonna be able to use their smarts they are gonna be able to use their powers they they gonna they gonna run that money up. <laughs> well, I ha- I have a little more faith in these girls that they might grow up a little wholesome because they got a daddy and stuff. <laughs> um, I see I see bubbles becoming a life coach and whatnot because okay. of her little personality. Uh, okay. uh, Buttercup is a UFC fighter, and they For nobody sure. gonna, yes. one thousand percent. And yes. nobody telling her shit. <laughs> nobody. UFC, all that, yeah, all of that. Blossom, you know what I can? I can see Blossom, be, an entrepreneur. Like I can I, see her yeah. becoming, yeah, like a, a, a not not an Instagram model, but definitely mm-hmm. taking the 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 all what has to offer with doing social media and stuff like that. Could yeah, definitely see her having cool. like hair and cat cosmetics and stuff like that. Definitely yeah. big promo code vibes. For sure, <laughs> I can actually see all three of them as content creators. Oh yeah, that too, yeah. that too. Because on TikTok, what? they may be twitching, like you know what I'm saying. I can yeah. definitely see them twitching. You know what I'm saying, communicating with their community yep. and kind of really building. Yeah, I see them as like the TikTok dancers. You know, yep. like doing a little routine. Oh, there. I can definitely see that. Yeah, for all three of them, you know, doing little tricks and stuff because they got superpowers. Like, yep, you know, like yeah, you know what. I, you know what, Will? You convinced me. Yeah, you know what? They ain't going to be out here scheming and scamming. I there you like, go. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, you know what? Because now that I think about it, like, they going to be the new Kardashian empire, but, like, done yeah. right. Like, they not going to be out here, you know what I'm saying, messing up the culture. They going to be here for the culture. We going to see these three sisters excel. They going to be like, you know what I'm saying, like the, like Chloe and Haley ba- uh, Bailey. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it's going to be three of them. It's going to be yeah. out here just giving just giving and killing it in the game, and I see it. I, yeah, you, I'm on, I'm on the wholesome side now. <laughs> they, they gonna be all over billboards, all over Sunset. You know, they gonna be, oh, yeah. you know, they gonna but, be sponsored. You know, and you also know they gonna love them fuck boys because you know they are gonna be getting with them rowdy rough boys with with no hesitation. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they gonna have them heart to hearts. Blossom, stop messing with him. He don't love you. He don't fuck. He don't care about you. Everybody oh, yeah, in the she's still with him. Romantic. Yeah, right, she's still with him. Not them in the shade room heavily. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> I can see Buttercup posting on uh, subliminals on her stories and stuff like that. <laughs> Living my life like it's golden. <laughs> we, we know who face I'm really punching in this bag. Hilarious. He don't want to see me. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be they, they gonna be doing mad subliminals like when you have a Mojo Jojo in your circle. <laughs> ah, oh my! Yo. God. Yo. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, man. Okay, uh, let's move on to somebody else, man. How okay, so how about Batman? Like Batman, no crime, no billionaire like status, no and stuff like that. What would Bat what would Bruce Wayne's day job be? Hmm. So I'm gonna keep it a bean. Remember, I told you I had something for today, yesterday. Yes. So here's what I believe. All right, because remember, like, I, no crime fight, not Batman, but Bruce was born into money. So my theory yeah. about Bruce is this, man, because his. Now, granted, we give a lot, and I mean a lot of credit to Alfred raising Bruce right, but in reality. Bruce was a teenager who was a billionaire who his only father figure was truly his servant. And in reality, a white billionaire is not going to be listening to his servant like that. Bruce Wayne would grow up and be Andrew Tate. God damn. <laughs> Bruce Wayne would be the worst individual because you got to think, this rich billionaire kid saw his family slain by the underbelly of Gotham. So he's already going to feel indifferent to people who's not making money. So he's going to already be talking cash shit to us. You know what I'm saying? And then as he gets more, he's going to be the, y'all need to pull yourself up by the bootstraps type of verb. Bruce is not going to be a good individual if he wasn't, if he didn't get into crime fighting. I have no faith in Bruce outside of crime fighting. I was going to say a psychologist. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, damn. And you're over here saying Andrew Tate. I was thinking more like Mr. Beast, but damn. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I, I, I expect the worst from him because when I started breaking down that scenario, I said, what's the likelihood of a white teenage kid who's a billionaire before and see his, his family get killed by the, the, the mean streets of Gotham? What's the likelihood of him turning out as a good person? I, I I don't got high faith in that. I, I can see him being like one of those like influencers that sells like um the stock X. What's those people? The investor X, like Forex, 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 Forex or Forex? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Where did they all go? By the way. <laughs> yo, you don't be saying like I don't know what happened to like these shoe salesmen that was like yo, hey man, stock X, bro. I got that new one. I got that new heat. I don't know what happened to them. They just disappeared off social. I was going to uh, say car salesman. <laughs> that's, oh, great. That's, that, that's what I saw. Like, he saw his parents get killed. I don't want to deal with all it. I don't want all this responsibility. They, they died because of I money. want this life. I, I don't want this life. I, I'm giving it all away, and I'm going to be a car salesman. And he get he gets with a woman named Jen. Not Jenny. Jen. And uh, he, live, he, he lives out a solitary life. He was just like, yo, I don't. I don't, I don't fuck with none of this no more. Car salesman, that's where he gets his daily intake of humans. And then he just be like, I can't stand these motherfuckers. And then he go home. He go home. But he sell the shit out of them cars, though. He sell the shit out of them cars. And I feel like Joker would also have a car dealership across the street. Right across the street. <laughs> where he'd be selling cars, too, and stuff. But Joker... So Joker we got was, hilarious I, prices, y'all. Right, hilarious <laughs> prices over here. Joker I'm gonna laugh. We gonna laugh y'all all the way to the bank on this one. Yeah, Batman. Be pissed. That's funny. Batman will be pissed off. Uh, oh so let, let's move on to another. Does anybody else have? Does anybody want to throw one out there of where y'all would think like who what they day job might be? Anybody, comic book, anime, cartoon, whatever. Grace, you look like you got you on. Wait, we're not talking. We're, this is this is a new one, a new. Yeah, just throwing it out there randomly. Oh, wait, come back to me because I was I was I was because I didn't really oh. say the one for Batman, but but. Oh well, which one you have for Batman? I thought you said influence. I, I actually one. could see Batman, you know, or Bruce Wayne, like being a really good underground rapper. You know, like he, he really like he dropping some bars. You know, yo, the Eminem of Gotham. Hey, hey, because he sees some shit. He did yo. some shit. He saw some shit. I could see it. I could definitely see it. Yo, not mad at that. Not mad at that at all. I actually couldn't see that. Like, yeah, because like, yeah, he started. 
he saw some shit. He's gonna be talking about that day. Like, you know, so that's gonna be his right. 50 cent. Yo, shot we gotta get AI. See, that's where AI hate AI come up with a rap from the from like from the perspective of Batman or Bruce Wayne. Yeah. That'd Bars. Be awesome. It would be <laughs> fire. It would probably it actually I could see that. I can really see good. that he just dropping it. My heart cold, like eight. Like what's her, what's her name? Damn it, I forgot her name. I what is it? Uh, Ice man. Uh, dang, what's her name? What's Emma what, Frost? Yeah, no, 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 no. That's Marvel. That's Marvel. What's, what's, what's Mister Freeze's uh, wife's name? Oh, oh no, my yeah. my heart cold, like Nora Frost. And Nora shit. Fr- like, yeah. I can see him writing some stuff like that, like just dropping bars. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. no, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's gonna, he gonna have a story, like I said. That's that's like I said, that his parents getting shot, it's gonna be his 50 cent get shot nine times. Like, that's gonna be yeah. a recurring theme that he brings up. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that man be that man wanna like shoot, he want to shoot a music video at the Iceberg Lounge with Penguin and shit. Just be like, yo, I'm just trying to perform and tell my story, you know what I'm saying, man? You know, <laughs> yeah, I can see you. How come yeah. they never told? Who who's the who's the underground rapper of Gotham? They never really showed somebody talking about the streets of Gotham. How come yeah, they, they never that? have? Hmm. I don't think they ever really show anyone like artist wise, except maybe like something pop. But they never like gave them like actual music. Yeah, like you know, what I'm saying somebody and because you got to think with all the shit. If you not even if you're even if you're not a victim of Gotham, but you grew up in Gotham, meaning that you grew up when the Joker had his run, when Penguin had his run, when Two Face had his run, when yeah. Harley Quinn was running around. Like, bro, like you seeing some crazy shit as just a citizen, right? Like, <laughs> you would have should bar. Be. Couldn't yeah. nobody there tell should, you nothing. Should be a rapper. Yeah, couldn't tell <laughs> you definitely. You I'm from the hard streets of Gotham, Vengeance. son. That's that's his rapper name. What's his name? Ven- is it Vengeance? Did I say this right? Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh yeah, Vengeance. That would be, that would be a hard rapper name. Be Vengeance. A hard rapper yeah. name. Yo, yeah. this is Ven- Yo, this is Vengeance. Check my interview out on the Breakfast Club with Charlemagne the God, <laughs> DJ Envy. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Talking about these mean streets of Gotham out here, son. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You know what, what I'm saying, man? Fuck the blood haven niggas all day. You know what I'm talking oh about? You know, hey, you know what I'm saying? New album dropping like my mama's pearls in the alley. You already know. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Damn. All right, y'all. I'm out. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, Damn. <laughs> It's Mother's Day. We're over here making these mean jokes. Yeah. Morbid jokes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's cracking like my back after bang. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, God. I, I have a know. shirt with Bane actually cracking. Yo, that's some, that's some crazy ass shit. Like that, that would make, <laughs> that would make me quit <laughs> after that. You know, what's, what, what also makes it like tragic is that as a superhero, that is the most human way to get taken out as a superhero. You got your back broken. Like, you didn't get blasted with a blaster ray. You didn't get thrown into the, the yeah. negative zone. You got your back broken. <laughs> Nigga what? came up and just... What's, you got what's the, the same cur- injury as Mike Tyson on a hover round. <laughs> yo, and the crazy thing is just imagine just being on the ground and can't move like, yo... I'm out in these streets by myself. Don't nobody know Stuck. I'm here. But Stuck Alfred in a, in, in a full bat suit. Yeah. <laughs> on the ground. Yo. Somebody walk walking. by and like, <laughs> Alfred. Help me. Alfred. <laughs> Help. I, I got a pee. Please come get me. I broke my back. My Spinal. back. <laughs> I'm on my way, sir. How long? <laughs> Alfred. Oh, I think I pooped Alfred and I can't tell if I pooped it. <laughs> my, my cape feel funny. It's in an awkward place and I can't move it. <laughs> Alfred, can, can you bring some chicken wings when you get here too? My I utility belt is completely useless right now. It can't help me with nothing. <laughs> can you bring some Sonic? Oh, oh shit. Goodness. But okay, does anybody have one they'd like to throw out there? Um, I was just thinking about how, like, because I've been watching Demon Slayer, I was mm-hmm. looking at Tanjiro. I was just like, what if you probably might be like a life coach or like a motivational speaker? 
So Tanjiro definitely would. It's either him or Naruto would be a life coach because and I was gonna say that as well. It would be a life they coach. heavily on the uh the friendship. You're better than this. Um, like like they definitely you gotta keep going. Coach. I'm not gonna give up on you. Don't give up. <laughs> Yo, he would give the best motivational speeches <laughs> at a TED talk. Right. Oh, yeah. Yo, he would be so great. I know you can do it, guys. I know you can do this. Believe it. Believe it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Nine Tails Fox name again? I can't think of his name right now. I'm, I'm blanking. Uh, but like now, Ruto's TED Talk would be the title would be "Find the Nine Tail Fox Within you, Yourself." Oh, right, right. Like, that would be my, his TED my Talk. My new book. <laughs> <laughs> Find the Nine Tail Fox Within Yourself. <laughs> That's my new book. Rama. <laughs> the, the, nine, the Nine Tails Within You. <laughs> Get it on Amazon. All right of us now. have it within us. I can see that. You have to unlock it. You have to unlock it through <laughs> through dedication, determination, willpower. Friendship, because <laughs> you know you got to throw in friendship. Yeah, I, can, I can also see him being a talk show host with that too. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> funny, definitely, Because <laughs> like oh, I mean, we know like we know Goku would one hundred percent either be a trainer or an actual fighter. So I think was, a trainer. I, I think yeah, a I think a trainer is the easiest one, probably. And he'd be sponsored by Nike somehow. He'd be yeah. a trainer yeah. Equinox. You know, mm -hmm. yep. Equinox. <laughs> <laughs> and he definitely would be a trainer because, like, trainers love to, I don't know, taunt you. Like, oh man, like that was great. Like, you think you could go harder next time, or you think yeah. you could fight like better next time? Like, very, very happy. Yeah. And they're just like. But then I also wouldn't want Goku to be my trainer because Goku also has um like he has unbelievable believability in his people. So he you be like, yeah, I'm a lightweight. He's like, okay, but like this heavyweight, I know you can take him. And it fucking Deontay Wilder. And I'm like, bro, there's no way I can beat this nigga. He's like, no, no, you got it. And I'm like, go, yeah. like, chill out. If I bro. can do it, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I could I could definitely see Goku doing that or having like a cycling class and you gotta win a whole hour and you oh, just like, you like oh, cycling. Uh, I'm so glad it's over. Oh no, it's time to do Super Saiyan 2 now. Ha! I was like, fuck you. Fuck Yo, you, that bro. he would I'm definitely out. have like uh uh you know like a little boot camp of everybody just going super <laughs> saiyan, just yep. yelling. And just on just on the bike, just now yellow hair, just like <laughs> bro. Scary. Bro, no. Imagine walking no. by that. Oh uh, like, is this, this a cult? Does it just power up? Why are these people on the floor? Wait a right. minute. Why are you still on a bike? <laughs> yeah, no, like I I say, I'm on record it. saying Yajirobe will be selling drugs. Like, because here's the thing, bro. This is what this is my theory about Yajirobe. He has one job with corn. And his one job is to make sure that the Sensu Beans is ready for the Saiyans when the next threat comes. Yet, every time they go to him, he only has two, maybe three Sensu Beans. I believe on the side, he's slanging Sensu Beans down to the people on <laughs> Earth. That's why we don't never have a steady supply. Because you think he should? they should have a steady supply. It should be easy for them to grab it. But they don't ever have it because Yajirobe be taking them and he be slanging them on the streets. Yeah, Jerome would be breaking them up too and putting them in packs <laughs> like rocks. Yeah. He like, oh, you, oh, you can't get a whole one. You don't need a whole one. You get a little piece. Yeah, I think sensu beans on the steam. You know what I'm mm -hmm. Slanging them sensu yeah. beans, man. I'll give you two pieces of sensu bean for thirty three dollars. That's what you got. That's all you need. You are gonna be right as rain. That I was about to say. I think uh, Chow Su be doing that. Chow Su be slanging drugs. <laughs> That's why TN was watching this back all the time. Oh my god. Um, but so we'll keep it in that thing. What about Ash from Pokemon? Like, you know, we just recently found out like Ash became finally, you know, became <laughs> a trainer after 25 years. Man. He's the and very best. <laughs> he's the very best. So that's done. That's over now. He's dead. Ad. Bro, so he's still what, what he, is his day job? I think he'd run a like a dog kennel. I, 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 can, I can see that. I can see it. You know, Pokemon trainer, you train, you know, I, I, dog kennel, great, you know, with training, talking to, talking to the dogs, walking them, yeah. you know. So you, know? you got, you got, you got better, you got better hopes for him. Yeah. I was going, oh. I was going fast food clerk. <laughs> Why fast food clerk? 
What else? Look, out, I'm trying to make him a business owner. <laughs> out, outside of running around catching Pokemon, <laughs> Ash don't look too smart. I'm going to just be honest. Ash don't look that bright. <laughs> And it took, oh, and it, took him, no. it, it took him 25 years to get this down. So <laughs> I just see, I don't know why Ash just gives me. <laughs> Did she quit because he, because he was he hating said, on Ash? Said, Did she leave? Do, what you're not going to do is talk about going on, on my Ash like this. Her ash <laughs> while I'm on screen. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? She dressed up as Ash for Halloween. So. <laughs> Aww. I don't know why Ash just give me like. That's it. That's all I know how to do when I'm done. So now, like, what do I go do now? So I believe because he because he's 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 known for traveling. You know, he got to go on this journey with his Pokemon. I mean, I don't have as much faith in him as well. So I believe that he's going to be one of those wish you were here people with the signs. Like, <laughs> like I feel like Ash would be one of them people. Not the, I'm playing not, my boy. Y'all are playing my boy. Not the tilted people. <laughs> Yo, fresh pizza inside? <laughs> no, a sign like dinner. <laughs> no, 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 not them. Not oh, them. oh. <laughs> that's what I thought you was talking about. No, you, you remember? You don't remember that social media campaign where it was all those people like flying to like Cancun and they had the sign that says "Wish you were here," and then like, oh, them, them. Them. Yeah. oh my gosh, I oh. blocked all them. I do not remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah. When I couldn't go, that's when I was like, I'm right, I'm here. not there. <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. You could have been there. You would have had to. It, it pretty much all it was was um um, um, um uh, a pyramid <laughs> team. You got to sign up. Then you gotta you gotta go to like you gotta go to a, like a four hour meeting. And then you gotta get you gotta recruit people. And then once you get enough money, then you you. You get to do the thing. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't, not. Yeah. I don't like pyramid schemes because they don't let you they don't let you do what you really want to do. It's like, look, right. I know I know this is a scam. Let me make more money that helps you make more money. It's like, Wait, oh, I you, know how. Yeah, you got to make it a certain amount. So, so I had know, one I job know. where they did let me do it. And I can talk about the statute of limitations. I think I may have told this. I know, you know, I talked about it on Geek Set. I worked for the door-to-door people that do AT and T that was like switching people over. But yeah. what oh. people what people didn't know was AT and T had a subsidiary uh com- phone company where you can get your phone bill down to thirteen dollars a month landline phone right. So me because I'm cool I'm good in the hood. I was like once 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 I uh, once I got to a point where I had a team I would pick nothing but the territories in the hood and I'll find one person who would finally listen to me and I'd be like bro I can get your phone bill down to thirteen dollars a month and they'd be like. Nah, you can't. And then once I do it, instead of going door to door, I'm like, bro, call everybody you know, tell them everybody in the hood, I'm bringing everybody phone bill down to 13. I'd be stationed at one house. It'd be just a slew of people coming in. at and oh, was cool with it because they was like, well, should you bring in us the subscriptions? But I was like, that was a pyramid scheme that allowed me to do what I was supposed to do. And I made I made decent money there. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Very <laughs> smart. Very Damn. smart. Yeah, very that's smart. because like, everybody else avoided the hood. And I'm like, no, nah, you can't avoid the hood. You just got to know how to talk to them. And I say, if I'm telling people I'm saving you money and I prove it, you won't call everybody. It got to that's the point it. where people's people's aunties and grandmas was br- was bringing me food because I'm just like, yeah, I'm just sitting there calling, doing, bringing everybody. So and I would hit my numbers, and then I was like, all right, you know, what I'm saying I got a team of five, so I'm like, all right, you gonna get this sale, you gonna get this sale. We was killing it. For a minute, for like a good four month period, and then I was like, "All right, this is too much. I got, I need, I need stable income. I can't rely on this." <laughs> so, who do y'all think will be run? Who will run a pyramid scheme? Oh, uh, if I'm gonna start an anime, I think Baku from uh My Hero Academia would definitely start <laughs> one. So, I actually think Nami from One Piece. I love <laughs> Nami, but but Nami a hustler. She a hustler, hustler. <laughs> I I love that. That's actually really, really. I think, and I and I think she'll do it. She'll do it well too. Yeah, yeah. I hmm, I don't really got anyone to be honest. We'll see another pyramid scheme. Nobody uh, to pop up in my head. Dee Dee from Dex's lab. <laughs> and wouldn't really? even know. She, and wouldn't even know she doing it. That's be the funny thing. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that 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 I can see. That I mean, obvious probably. I mean, and I don't think it would be a, it'll it'll be a functional pyramid scheme, but Phineas, Phineas, Phineas and Ferb, because 
the way that they able to break the to build shit up and break shit down like that, like they they'll be functioning and they be they'll be a traveling pyramid scheme because soon as the feds get on them, they skip in town and they are and because like I said, they obviously know how to break shit down quickly because they they sister ain't never catching them. <laughs> you know who else I can see running the Ponzi scheme and you wouldn't even find out till you got to the tippy top. Group from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why? Because because I, I see one person taking it too seriously, thinking they know what he's talking about, and he just keeps saying, "I am Group." And he's like, "That's a great idea," and he builds the whole thing for him. And they just going based off of him saying them three words. I can definitely see Group being part of a Ponzi scheme and being at the tippy top of it, and then nobody would get caught because nobody would really understand what he's saying. <laughs> he can't take the stand. <laughs> no, <laughs> he that or he would get a bunch of followers. What are they called? Like in a like a a commune? Oh, yeah. oh. yeah. he would definitely be a leader of a cult. The Church of yeah. Groot. The, the Church, Church of, Church of Groot. Groot. <laughs> I could see that. I could see I could that. Definitely see that. Yeah, I could see like, that. All right. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm Groot. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> people. <laughs> that's, that's going to be funny because, uh, like Groot is probably like the best. He is the best sidekick to a narcissistic person because oh, yeah. all you got to do, like, you could just say, like, you, like whatever you're thinking, you're like, oh, see, he co-signed it, and people be like, no, he just said, I am Groot. Like, yeah, but when he when right. he said, I am Groot, he was saying, go ahead and do it, and like, nah, what he, he meant just, was like, like who gonna. <laughs> You can't prove it. <laughs> you can't. You can't at all. Um, so we'll do we'll do two more and then we'll move into our, our, our next thing and we'll just give a few of those. Um Black Panther. This one was different. This one was difficult. Cause okay, you know, no Wakanda, not not a king comes over to America and it's just like, you know what? I'm gonna just chill out here. Or you know what, not even just America, just you know, like. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lead that down. I'm gonna lead it down. Pay, do what you got. Because we got, we got to remember. Like we give Shuri a lot of props for being the smartest in the family, but she said in Black Panther one that T'Challa was the one that pushed her to do that, and she used to get a lot of knowledge from him. And because of how T'Challa, like I said, no, just just you see how he acts about Wakanda, about heritage, about stuff like that. I do believe that T'Challa would actually be a professor. He would be a college professor teaching just like African studies or just stuff like that. Just stuff like that, because he is a highly uh, before what like he said before all of that. You remember, because he matter of fact, he was he, um, he went out on his own to learn uh, one of black. One of T'Challa's biggest traits is he was already supposed to be king. And instead of taking the mantle right when he was supposed to, he went abroad to America so that way mm -hmm. he can further his knowledge. And yep. so I do believe that he would he would have continued down that path, end up being a professor, you know what I'm saying, at a prestigious HBCU and just yeah. teaching just black history. Like, yeah, Tyler would have been one of them. I can see that. Nice. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Grace, what about you? I know you I saw that you had one. I was thinking he would like be an agri like agriculture. He would I can definitely see that too. you know, he I feel like he's really he would be really um interested in just preserving the earth. And like the motherland, so I could yeah. see him, you know. Then he could just, you know, discover vibranium just by like, you know, digging and, you know. But I think I, I could just see him just being of someone, the land. someone tending to the land, making sure that yeah. it's still here for everybody. Hey, they gonna, uh -huh. they gonna they gonna call him. They gonna call him Agriculture Bay on the on Twitter. What? <laughs> you know, he's gonna be doing a little, like picking up the dirt. Just yeah, the, them hands like he gonna have that picture with them hands like this and stuff. Yep. Like, like girl, not the palm. <laughs> <laughs> like, see you see that? Can see yeah. that? I can definitely see that. What about yourself, Lexi? You got one? I just thought about it, and I would say a pastor. If he knows how to that. talk to people. He's very like relatable and knows how to give like a motivational speech. And he, you know, he has that that voice. Um, and very like, I guess like stern, like a pastor mm -hmm. would be. Yeah. Um, I so see. I I could see that for him, and you know, make people want to go to church, return, yep. and, and all that. So yeah, pastor. I could definitely see him being a pastor, and still had a little thing on there with the pastor. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be tripped out. He's gonna be tripped out. He would definitely be tripped out. 
Listen, <laughs> outfit's gonna be on point. Giving giving under to the Lord today. <laughs> have your seats. Have, have your, welcome to the have your seat, everybody. I, I am I know you have been to troubled waters. <laughs> you have just got to keep the faith in the Lord and the God Jesus Christ, and you will find a way. Let us all say his name. Ibombe. Ibombe. Hilarious. You know what I had? I had basketball coach. I can see that. Oh, too. I can Either just way see it goes, that. it's he's leading people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he's definitely a natural born leader. So I can yeah, definitely yeah. see him in that. LeBron, I, bring me LeBron, you have to take over. You have to <laughs> LeBron in the fourth quarter, you have to take over and you have to score the last shot. <laughs> I, I can just see him doing the same thing with the exercise. E ball bay. E ball bay. E ball bay. E ball bay. In the locker room before they come out. Yep, they, before they come out. Oh, yeah. I, was like, I, can, I can see him like especially like for like the teenage boys and stuff like that to really look up to him give them mm -hmm. the advice they need and stuff like that i can definitely see him doing it for like people like um in those like inner city districts and stuff oh. that's trying to get folks in the nba that can't get a chance in school and stuff yeah. like that i can see him building a whole center for it shuri helping them out so they got the best you know in athletics and stuff like that and just really giving them the training that they deserve and stuff yeah the that's what i see from him yeah, because yeah, he would he he would be one of those coaches that are more than a coach, you know, like one of those ones where like you know what I'm saying like you know unfortunately in the black community we know there's a lot of single mothers and everything like that, mm -hmm. so you know when you're looking for just additional father figures or just additional just respectable men to kind of help out and a lot of times a coach does play that role in a lot of young mm -hmm. men's lives and I yeah. I can see him being that one of those people that kind of just help you know what I'm saying uh, in those type of scenarios like you said in the inner city and just you know teaching life lessons you know what i'm saying like you know and, and cutting it straight like you know hey you may not go to the league but you know here's well, here's things that you can still do with your talent with your with your smarts and just help yep. encouraging people yeah i can see that too oh yeah mm -hmm. i can see that um i did have a pure wolverine but wolverine already kind of had a day job <laughs> the yeah, more i thought about it yeah, yeah he was a lumberjack and i not think of anything outside of that I was like, mm, that, that I was gonna give him a lumberjack. <laughs> yeah. He would be for the, he would you know be in the Marines. I feel like he would be. I mean, we saw him in the military. Yeah, he definitely was still yeah. in the military. Oh, yeah. right. He's literally yeah. had like every war. Yeah, yeah, he was in the war. He's yeah. had day jobs. He has. That's why when I thought about it after I wrote it and I sent it, I was like, he's had he's day Uber jobs. Driver. He's 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 the everyday Yo, man. What you say? I I could see him being an Uber driver, like to Grace. Yeah, Uber point. driver. I could see yeah. that. Yeah. I Actually, he was. I just thought about no, he wasn't Logan. He drove oh, a limousine fuck. around. Oh yeah, he did. Damn, sure that's, that's did. probably why it's the right. See, this is why I like him. He's relatable. He yep. is. He's oh, the everyday he's man. He's my favorite. Yeah. yeah, he's one of my favorites for sure. He's the everyday man because you because yeah, you got to think all those jobs that he had requires him to be around like people in the public and he really doesn't fuck with the people in the public but he musters that down so that way he can just be you know like yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, a solid, he a solid individual and you want to know why and that, and that's what make everybody want to fuck with him because he don't fuck with everybody so he'd be like exactly. oh, yeah. exactly. <laughs> they're like why are you so business stupid? and just go home alone. <laughs> just, go home. just yep. go home man uh Wolverine would be also I just believe because he's the, also the everyday man but he also um he invokes like like you feel safe around him I can see him being security as well mm -hmm. I can see security. You know what I'm definitely. saying? Because, like, you know, because you got to think, like, we, we we get used to always seeing, like, the big stocky guy, you know what I'm saying, as security. But everybody has always seen a group of security. And you see the one kind of, like, short buff guy. And you're like, why is he there? He didn't, like, who is he securing? Come to find he out, he really that dude. You <laughs> right? Right. You're like, oh, shit, he, got, he that guy. All right. Throw you across the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be Logan because you know we know we know he ain't that tall, but he's still you still feel safe around him no matter what. No matter who you going against, you going against tall ass sentinels. Wolverine comes, you like all right, we got a chance. <laughs> right. Yep. You know? That's true. That's true. Yeah. I was also gonna say uh um truck driver. I was gonna give him truck driver. He definitely mm. truck driver vibe. <laughs> definitely got truck driver vibe. Yeah. 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 Seeing the open yeah. road, you know what I'm saying? Living off the uh, living. You gotta off the talk road. to people. 
No. Nope. Mm-hmm. Get to sleep in this truck. That's it. Just go deliver everything and be done. And no fear. Um, no fear. No fear. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Matter of fact, he wish a nigga would try to steal his, right. his convoy. <laughs> he, right. He's like, I cannot wait until somebody try me. <laughs> Yo, I've been waiting on these little fast and furious dudes to run up. Like, right. Come, on. <laughs> right. Come on. I'm ready for you. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to jump into our final segment two of this Hear Me Out, which is uh, what is called the alternate reality. So we've been talking about uh, superheroes, comic books, all, all cartoons having day jobs. So this one, I wanted y'all to uh, figure out in an alternate reality, if the hero was the villain. I wanted to know from y'all, who are some heroes that you know that you think would make an excellent villain? Okay. That would make it I got one. Go ahead, Grace. Hear me out. Okay. I think that Superman would be the ultimate villain and Lex Luthor is is the hero because some aliens just come in, you know, come into Earth and you just protecting Earth. Like that's all yeah. I had. But I just was like, I no, you, no, you, no, you cooking though. You cooking though because you got to think that's that's Lex's whole thing against Superman. The yeah. only reason why he doesn't like Superman is because an uh, alien came to Earth and the world loved him. He's like, yo, like, bro, like, fam, it's me. Like, I'm him. Like, don't love him. Where love did me. he come from? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not, he's, he's, you know, he's not, not supposed to be here. He's not one of us. I, I, yeah, I think people kind of like undermine that too a lot because I think because. You kind of have metas, but even to the like Lex Luthor point, you just be like, "Yo, they they were here, them by accident." He came down, and then like every time, I just imagine Lex freaking out when he see a new power. He just on the TV watching this, and he's just like, "Bro, this dude just flying everywhere." Did this motherfucker just shoot lasers out his eyes? <laughs> ain't, nobody like tri- ain't nobody <laughs> tripping about this. I was gonna say. He's the dude dangerous. just the dude just picked up an army tank and threw it. Ain't nobody else. So I'm the only one stressing about this? Word? <laughs> Ain't yeah. nobody else word. Yeah. Nobody else. This man, we shot a nuke at this dude and he survived. <laughs> so ain't nobody else scared but me. I'm the only one <laughs> tripping. I, I, I would be tripping, actually. But doesn't he like change or turn kind of like evil or like kind of lose his mind and um, is it injustice? In, in, so oh, yeah, he yeah, doesn't. Yeah, yeah he, he it, it's it's not that he turns evil. He turns to a dictator pretty much. So it depends on how you look at that. But he pretty much says, "All right, I'm tired of trying to, you know, what I'm saying, turn you guys back good. It's either you listen to me or you get lobotomized." <laughs> but, but you see, and to that point, and to what Grace is saying, <laughs> that's what makes Lex a better hero because it's just like, yo, at any time he can do that. Like we even yeah. see that, like if you watch the boys, like you saw Homelander. Oh, yeah. oh, exactly. How, Home, how Homelander be thinking, like, yo, I could laser fry all these people in this crowd right now. Damn, I don't need oh. to be a hero. <laughs> and they don't never show Clark that. They don't never show Clark like contemplating that. And that's why I'm just like, Yeah, bro, Superman could just punch someone in the face and they, they whole face just gone. Yeah. But that's it. Right. So hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. All right, who has the better villain story than a person who has been with a person who's been with the hero since day one? Right, been with the hero since day one. Yet every time that you mention me, it ain't even my name. I'm being linked to this person, right? And then when I finally get my own, my my own entity, you don't give me any of the powers that I see the main hero get. All I get is a vacuum cleaner. Luigi would be the greatest Hell. villain. He doesn't get I was any. Like, he doesn't get any. I was like, where is this going? I'm like, a vacuum cleaner? Who the I hell is that? No, I, that, that's why I lost I lost everything after that. I was really trying to figure it out. And he said vacuum. I was like, I don't know what the fuck he was vacuum, In Luigi's mansion, he ain't getting no fire star. He ain't get a star to go invincible. He didn't get the big mushroom to grow. No, they gave him a vacuum cleaner. And a flashlight. And a flashlight. Where you flashlight at? It's never Mario and Luigi, Super Mario and Luigi, uh, Mario. Mario 64 and Luigi. No, it's just always Super Mario Brothers. And I know Luigi's last name is Mario, but when do I get my love? And, and he ne- and he never gets the girl. Like never. ever. Like I said, they they, Mar- they 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 brought in a whole nother princess, and I we don't really even get the, 
Yeah, we don't really get to see their love story. It ain't well, never about Luigi. I don't, and, and I still and I still don't believe that <laughs> Luigi is beating them guts like Mario <laughs> is with Peach. Yeah, Luigi. I don't, I, I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> that man, that man is paying well, we got Princess height. Daisy's we got bills height on his brother, and that don't help him out either. And it still don't help. <laughs> and I still Not think a- Mario maybe stole Luigi style. Be like, man, I was in the overalls for you put them on. <laughs> Wait a minute, this was my fit. And you came out here dressing like me. We're not twins. What the? <laughs> We're not. We're not twins. And then I'm it's like, y'all getting mad at me. You the one with the stupid name. Your name is Mario Mario. That's stupid. <laughs> stupid. That's fucking dumb. And, the, and to keep it a B, I peeped the whole play. Bro, you keep on saving the princess. She don't want to be saved. She want to be there, bro. I see it. I see it. Leave her <laughs> alone. <laughs> But like yo, I, 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 yo, to, to this day, I keep thinking Mario is the side piece in this whole story, <laughs> and that's what we've been playing this entire time. Like, About the most <laughs> it could. side piece stories. Like, dang, hey, I gotta Mario! say, I gotta say, Peach from what? <laughs> what you getting kidnapped, bro? <laughs> she ain't. There's a reason she keeps walking it. into the castle, right? <laughs> Said, bro, she got, bro, they got a whole stained glass window with her picture on it. You think that Yo. she got kidnapped here? Like, Why? no, she lives here, dog. <laughs> Why you think you never find her tied up when you save her? She just be sitting there chilling. So you find her in a room with all her personal belongings. Like, no, she lives here, bro. <laughs> so you you walked in, watched, saw her watching 90 Day Fiance, and you thought she was just being tortured? That's what you assumed? <laughs> When she told you, wait, wait till this episode go off and y'all in Bowser's castle, that didn't give you the red flags? Like, I don't think she's in danger. <laughs> she's just not into you, bro. She's just not into you. <laughs> so yeah, that's my that's my pick, Luigi. Okay. What, like, good, say what about you? Good pick, good pick. Um, I know that he already does like have a story, but like honestly, the one superhero I think would be a great villain is Batman. Just because, like, he is like, is he has some screws loose, oh. and I feel like as long as he doesn't keep himself in check, like he could snap and like be a really, really good villain. It, I, I keep saying this on, I keep saying this on different episodes. Batman is already a villain. <laughs> Batman is the greatest <laughs> villain of all time because he convinced us he's a hero, or he's already I, there. I'm great. <laughs> I really, like, really peep this. This man goes and kicks your ass and throws you in a prison he owns. In a bat suit. In a bat suit. Makes <laughs> you more crazy and lets you break out so you can go do it again. And he just keeps yeah. repeating it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, wondering, I'm just wondering, like, how, why is the streets of Gotham so fucked up? But the bat gave cave is decked out with the most advanced technology in the world <laughs> like he could, bro he could for sure clean that city up with his money for sure up. because it like I said, I, I said this on a previous episode it is clear that bruce wayne does not care about being rich you never see him really enjoying the spoils of his life he's he dedicated his life to justice and so it's like bro just take the money that you don't care about and invest it into the city <laughs> Yeah, and he don't know because even like even like Alfred said, they'd be like, "Why don't you just give the cops some money so they can have some tech to clean up these streets?" He was like, Man. "I ain't trying to hear all that." I because <laughs> he, he wants to be the one. It was yeah. like, "Bro, you you can like, whatever 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 Kevlar that you got that makes bullets bounce off of you." I feel like the whole GCPD should have that. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, I, mean, I just feel like right. in bare minimum, at least. Give us all whatever's bouncing, making the bullets bounce off of your chest. Let can we have that? Because we right. are, we facing the same villains that you are. Half ninety five percent of the time, we facing them for a good ten minutes before you actually fly in and save the day. So, bro, give us something at least we can last. <laughs> Batman, like man, shut the fuck up and zip up my bat suit. <laughs> like, I ain't trying to hear all that shit. Is Batmobile you know, gassed up? <laughs> you know I can't catch this shit back here. Hurry up, bro. Come on. Yeah. You think you think the Batmobile takes unlet it? Uh, <laughs> yo, yeah. Where do now you? That we're there, what oh, gas man. does he take? What gas does he take? 
Yeah, it's definitely diesel or something. It's not yeah. as diesel, because it's I feel like you got to be like old school mechanics, like because he, because you know Batman, he wants that rev up. He wants that, yeah. you know. I don't. I can't imagine him having an electric car because I feel like the Batmobile would be. Cre- it wouldn't be as scary if it just rolls up on you silently. It could work though, because if the villain turns around, he's like, What the fuck did you get? <laughs> Yo. I'd be roasting the shit out of Batman if he pulled those saddles in there and hopped out like, wait a minute. <laughs> Your car don't sound like how it look. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, what, why do you have fire coming out the back? I don't even hear it. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, what? <laughs> what? Be like, come on, man. I'm trying to be more eco-friendly, dog. Damn, leave, like, no, nah, this me actually be. made me chuckle. Like, you know, this is a great like, joke. <laughs> right. That was great. I feel like he. I feel like he take two gases though. One for the Batmobile, and then one for the uh, jet. Just for the that, flames. Be, yeah, for the flames. Oh, for he gotta sure. Do, he got to do that one at the house though. The other one, he got to stop. Can't be the same tank. Nah, I can just see a gas clerk just being. He be like, "Yo, I need eighty three on pump two. I'm like, you, you, bro, you sure? I don't think Chevron take your got your gas, right? Take Crusader, like you. Which one are you doing? He be like, unleaded. Unleaded. Unlet it. <laughs> Regular? Regular? Hey, regular. I'd be, be calling talking mad shit. Like, yo, bro, you know the fucking Batmobile? 89. Power? This nigga got unleaded in his tank. Yeah. <laughs> what Super. if, like, imagine being in the Batmobile and you see it about to hit empty and Batman hits you with the, no, no, I know my car. I know my car. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 like, bro, no, like, I need you to fill this up, man. Oh Alfred, my God. Alfred, the Batmobile stopped mid tunnel. I can't get all the way into the Batcave. I need help. The car went out. I thought I could make it. I thought I had enough gas. I, I thought I knew my car, but uh, <laughs> like, I keep telling you, I didn't know the electrical system takes and burns gas too. Okay, Alfred, my bad. I keep forgetting. <laughs> All right, oh, I will stop playing Selena Gomez every time I'm in the Batmobile, so we can <laughs> save on gas. Thank you. Oh my gosh! Um, I think my my one I can see a hero being a villain is Professor X, and it's just because I don't like that he don't use his powers the way I want him to. <laughs> For sure. Bro, oh, there was a whole thr- so dog. I realized because I was like, man, when will this joke die about him not using, you know, what I'm saying his powers to, to make himself walk? So I I did a whole deep dive looking into it, and they did give a canon reason why. What it is is that it would exu- it would it would take too much constant effort for Professor Xavier to constantly make himself be able to walk. So he chooses not to. So it's not that he can't. He can, but he chooses not to because of the amount of energy it would take for him to do it. But then it's like, damn, dog, like I got this power and I can't use it for the one thing that would be the most helpful. Like that sucks. <laughs> first, first, first off, you got an X wing and you mean it's and people with mutant abilities, people who can go <laughs> into different dimensions. You mean to tell me you ain't got one person that can take that bullet out your spine and make you walk again? You got a whole Apology. danger room in your house. Okay, no tech for that. Hear me out. <laughs> He's doing it for aesthetic purposes. He's oh like, my. all right, I want to be the professor. I need people to look at me like, oh snap! Like, I I need like like I need to be non-threatening, but also you understand that I'm immensely powerful. So now he's like, okay, if I sit in this chair, people gonna think like, oh, he's an old crippled old man, but. I'm really, I'm really him. Like, I, my theory is that he's doing it on purpose, just for aesthetic purposes. So you think he's getting it so he can get bitches? Uh, <laughs> who is he? Who, who is he messing with? This professor. He, uh, he was. It was one of the doctors. I think her name was like Moira Mataget. That was really? one of his. Moira. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was his love interest. Yeah, that was one of his love interests. I, yeah, but that, that's the thing. I don't like that he don't use his powers. Like, he too goody for me. That's why I would think he'd make a great villain. Like, I just don't like that he don't use stuff that he need to use it for. Like, you should get free parking everywhere. <laughs> and I don't see him do that. He I mean, he does. He got a handicap sign. 
Yeah. That's true. That is true. That is true. But you know, it goes it goes back to what Larkin said. Like, I do not need superpowers because especially if I have powers to make my everyday life a little bit more convenient, I am one hundred percent using that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I may like you know say I may be like all right I'm on the straight and narrow I'm on the straight and narrow and then as soon as like one I miss one check and I'm like all right well I know that I can like grab this money from the bank real quick fuck it like I'm like listen you know, once my back against the wall I'm going I'm doing what I got to do with my powers. Have y'all seen uh Super Crooks? Yes. Yes. Okay. So that first episode where he's just like I want to be a superhero you know and he I'm not spoiling nothing right I could just no 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 you can say you can say okay. He killed everybody on an accident, on accident. forcing niggas to the hospital. And he's just like, fuck, well, can't do that. And then he gets on the wall and he makes the ATM machine like pop out money. He's just like, I'm getting out of town. Like, I'm going to live my life. Live my life. And this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm yeah. just going to take this and go. His friend is like, what are you doing? I'm like, leaving. <laughs> that would be me. Like, yeah. I I would be a anti-hero. Like, I don't think I'd be full on villain. I want to kill people. Like, yeah. But I definitely would be looking out for myself for sure. I would I would definitely be the hero where people kind of just go go like, oh, this nigga again. Because <laughs> I know I don't see myself getting it right. Like, I already know, like, like heroes got too much responsibility because yes. one once you mess up once, people just be looking at you and judging the shit out of you. Bro, like, you'll yes. fuck up for the rest of your life. Yes. That's it. Yes. It's That's like, bro, no, I've been I've been swooping down flying, catching people falling off of buildings for five years straight. I miss one person, and now y'all against me? Like, bro, I've been I've like been, Spider-Man. I, <laughs> right. Yep. That's but why you know, I, I, yeah. this, this is how this is how I would get the people because I would do a lot of stuff for myself. Like I, my my golden rule is like I'm not I would never rob people, right? But but in like industries and companies, like big companies, like yeah, I'll rob a bank. But then I also I would make sure I give money just to uh, just random. Like Robin Hood. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll definitely be Robin Hood. I'm like yo, I'm looking out for me. But you know what? If I'm doing this shit, I might as well help out some other people. I do something like if, if I could talk to technology, yeah, I would be doing shit for me. But then I also like wipe out all student loan debt. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like I would just go. Yes. Like, I would just go like things that matter, things that matter, not killing people, not if not impacting, like not impacting an, an individual, but like an industry that I don't believe in. Oh, best believe I'm fucking that up. <laughs> so you and hey, you doing way more than I'd have done. I'm I'm talking about using my stuff for definitely uh gain <laughs> around my friends. Like if me and Grace was at a, like a, a weed spot and she was not sure of this weed, and I'd be like, Well, you trying to smoke it before you buy it? And they'd be like, You can't do that. You trying to smoke this before you buy it? Be like, yeah, you go ahead and roll it up and try it if you like. <laughs> this is why I'm here. Just oh here. my gosh. That's yeah, just little, just just little stuff. Be like, yo, Larcy, you can't get into the Comic Con convention. She has full access. Oh yeah, I see you got full access right here. Come on through. Yeah, I got you. Now there yeah. are there are two powers though that I feel like even if you like you have no choice but to go bad and even the good people i'm like y'all just like one more one thing away from being bad is um firepower and electricity power because in my it's, eyes there's no way that you can do this and look non-threatening like if you do this and lightning comes out niggas is scared if you do this and fire comes they, out niggas is scared it's that's like why you gotta no do way. one that's why you gotta do one do it do one with one hand watch that still ain't looks that very ain't sinister that, yeah, but it ain't that threat. Like, not, uh, not, not, yeah, not, it's like, <laughs> I know not to mess with you. This one, look at Grace yeah. trying to do it smiling, and she still looks threatening. No, 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 no. Yeah. Grace, Grace, do, 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 <laughs> Grace, do one hand. Do one hand. Okay. See, Grace kind of look like she's going to do a dope-ass party trick. But you not have to, do, like, have the other arm on the shoulder. Not, yeah. not, or, or, or on your Yeah, Yeah. Like yeah. Disturbing something. yeah. yeah. Now, that too. Now do, now do two hands. Pure chaos, right there. Like, pure <laughs> chaos. Like if I saw Dylan. you do that at the corner, I'm turning directly around. Like, nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. That nope. sounds fun. Corner of a party, I'm out. I know because even Wolverine's kind of be opening it up like this, so and, you know, terrifying. It's very, yeah, it's very intimidating. It's intimidating, bro. Yeah, it's very <laughs> intimidating. Even with him being short, like ain't finna lunge at me with them things out. Nope, I'm going home. Because it, it, and you also hear it. Because here's the thing. In order for something to go shing, it's metal against metal. So if it's right. coming out his fist and you hear shing, and you're like, 
bro, what's Come in out. your what's in your body that's making the shink sound? <laughs> out. Oh Come no, out. that was that was him coming together. Remember when he does it? They're already out. So oh, I thought touching, it was they're shit. touching it. Yeah, they're it touching like each other. Yeah. I'm still out though. I'm, I'm still, out. still out. Yeah, I'm still out. Yeah. If I heard that somewhere and it's like that's in the middle of the dance floor, it's time to go home. It's like somebody got a sword? I'm out. <laughs> somebody got yeah. a sword. Club? Who in the club oh, with a sport? Who pulled the sport out of Whole Foods? Especially <laughs> if I drove. I'm, let's go. We're leaving. Out of I'm here. With you. Lexi, I'm at the car already. I, I, I saw when he pulled the first one out in, in the restroom. I ain't got time for this shit. No. Yeah. Don't let me trust the dude with a plaid <laughs> shirt on. Powers? Oh, my God. I'm winning every cosplay co uh, costume. Cosplay. Uh, co uh, contest. Cosplay contest? Yeah. Same. Oh, my God. Because here's the thing. All I got to do is get the suit. And then what I'm doing is people gonna think like, oh man, that's a that's a cool trick. And it's like, no, nah, it's really me. <laughs> I'm winning them constantly. Content, right? Exactly. But before well, we crazy. before before we get up out of here, let me just hear from Grace. What if you if you had a power, what is something you would do for your own game? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to pick the power, and what am I doing? Right. Yeah, or you can pull it from a power from someone that we we mentioned today or anything. It's really up to you. Man, I would definitely have. Um, what is it? Kinetic energy or kinetic? Uh, what Kine is it? Uh, I was gonna say kinesiology. That's definitely not it. No, nah, I mean it could be though, because I was like <laughs> kinesis, but I was like, yo, does, yeah, no, nah, isn't it that the, the study? Man, here? because Wait, because really, you you can kind of do, a, you can do a lot with that. I'm traveling the world. Um, I'm, I'm set. I'm just set. Like I can fly. I can. I just. I would just. You know what? I would just be carefree. I would be minding my own business, maybe helping somebody on the side of the road that's getting mugged. But I'd be, you know, financially set. I'd be, I would just be a happy person. I would just be, I would, I, I, yeah. I, I'm not trying to do too much because, again, it comes with, you know, all this pressure. And right. I would be like an undercover hero. There you go. Yeah, I because like tell like I would want to teleport so I, that way like if I'm watching something and somebody talking crazy, I can just teleport, slap them real quick, teleport back. But well, also, side note, there's, there's a little hand on the side that is that is throwing me way off. As you was talking, it just kept on creeping in. Oh, that's her power. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I could move. I told you I could move things. Watch this. It kept on throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what's so funny for this past week I've been seeing them old school videos where they were doing the uh, pandemic and all the CNN people were at home and their kids keep walking in the back and they just I like know. oh my god <laughs> That's what that, that, was, that, was that like, one video where that guy was doing with it the, and like his two kids the, ran the in, yep. came in yeah and she was like no 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 <laughs> she was dragging him out <laughs> well, Yo, like, no, the did you see the pastor one where like the black kid came in and his mama just like snatched him and he just saw him just yeah <laughs> that's what yo like his soul got took you just traumatized <laughs> it was so funny I have not seen that with that superpower and being a mom oh my god I would uh, have probably more more kids because I would you know I'd be able to do like a thousand things at once yo the how quick you could make a bed with with kines with kinesis what? and stuff. What? That be yeah, that would be fire. Yeah, that'd because be you know what? No, I, you know what? As a as a parent, you know where it would come in the the best. And for the for the fellow parents that are watching, and for the pe fellow parents that are here, getting a kid dressed in the morning when you got to be somewhere at a time on at, at on time is the is one of the hardest things that you have to do as a parent. So if I got yeah. kinesis and you taking your time, I just say, you know what? What's funny is I actually I Cam, my son dresses himself every day. Oh, that got to be lovely. That got to be lovely. a point where I'm starting to realize I'm like, you know, maybe I should intervene because like you've been wearing the same thing every week. Like this definitely doesn't match, but it's comfortable to you. So I rather the I rather that than dealing with my daughter who is in the bathroom and it's like you in there an hour. I'm like, what are you doing, Azaria? Oh, I'm trying to find what I'm gonna wear for an hour. Like, what? Are you, like, if you don't hurry up, we gotta be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> women are already there. That's never gonna change. Yeah, ladies are different. Change. I know. Every never time I, I try to look for an outfit, my whole room gets a mess because oh. I'm. My room is horrible right now. By the way, if I just wear like the same, like oh, I like a cartoon character, I just wear. 
wash it, wear the same. Help, help right. me understand something about this because this is what my daughter does, and I feel like y'all would y'all can give me a little bit of insight. Okay. How come the clothes that y'all are trying on does, doesn't stay in the room? Like, there's a path of clothes from my daughter's room to the bathroom of what she's been trying on until she finds her actual outfit that she wants to wear. So it's like, why is there why is there a trail? What's the <laughs> probably from what what I do when I try something on and if I don't like it, I take it off while I'm walking back to my room. <laughs> that to try I, something I can else. Agree. On. I, yes, I can co-sign to that. Like, you go to the mirror, you're like. Damn it! And you just snatch it <laughs> off, and then exactly yeah, trail from my yeah. living room, to my bedroom. And so, with time. with that power, I would just be able to, like, you know, have Jesus. those clothes folded Jesus. back and into it. Oh God! Yeah, that would be take all the other stuff back. I would. It would. As a parent. And so it kind of sounds like y'all need powers. Oh, <laughs> That's what it sounds sound like y'all should get some powers. Yeah. And just Ooh. just don't be heroes. That's really just it. Right. Yeah. Don't that's be a it. hero. <laughs> well, ladies moral and gentlemen, of the story. Yeah, that's the moral of the story. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a fantastic episode, man. If you're watching this, you already know when it goes over an hour, then that means it was good vibes, it was good energy, and everybody was just having a good time. And so I would definitely like to thank y'all for checking out another episode. Let us know in the comments below um who what character would you pick to be a better villain a better villain to be a hero and what uh character would you select and the day job that they would have put it in the comments below so we can comment and start a conversation there but before i get out of here and before my guests get out of here i always like to go around and make sure that they get to let you know where you can follow them support their dreams and where they can continue be continue being their great self. We're going to start with Grace. We're going to move over to Lark Scene, and then we're going to end with Deuces, and I'm going to close this thing out. Grace, you are up. I'm so sorry. I, I like, just blinked. What, what what were we supposed to say? <laughs> just, just tell them where to follow you, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> and promote whatever you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, she thought we moved into another segment. Hold on. Let me I was like, wait, wait. I, I didn't have time Go to think. Um, you can find me at God's Grace Aubrey on Instagram. Really, Instagram is where I, I always direct people. So God's Grace Aubrey, A-U-B-R-Y is how you spell Aubrey. Um, we got some projects in the works. Um, movie that we're I'm filming uh, next month. Uh, I have a Pokemon commercial that I filmed two years ago that I'm still waiting for it to come out. So I'm That's praying so because apparently Pokemon, you know, they're, they, they, they haven't put the game out yet and they keep you know so let's 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 hope because that that would be that would really be really dope but um but yeah that's all i got yes indeed all right it's uh hello everyone um you can follow me at underscore larkseen l-a-r-x-e-n-e -E on instagram and twitter and on twitch whenever i do stream um at lex l-e-x larkseen l-a-r-x-e-n-e um, and I might be at DreamCon this year, so I'll probably Ooh. see y'all there. Grace, you gotta, I mean, not Grace, Lexi, you gotta come chop it up with me. We yes. gonna be down there. We're going to be down there at DreamCon. We're filming uh, a documentary as well, Ooh. um, okay. about black geek culture. We would definitely love to get you on camera and chop it up with you. Hey. Yeah, all right, let's, yeah, let's set that up. Yes, indeed, Deuce, you are up. All right, so first things first, um, for whatever reason, I was already following both of you guys. So this is my first time meeting you guys, but I definitely oh, followed really? you guys. And I don't know why I did, but I just unfollowed and refollowed so y'all can see my name <laughs> and pop it up at the top. Let's see. I'm, let's see I'm, 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 I don't know why I already followed you guys, but obviously you guys did something dope. But everybody knows, you know what I'm saying, especially Thank in blur you. culture, I am... Young Deuces, you can follow me, Young underscore Deuces everywhere, man. Like I said, we do stuff about blur culture. We talk about, you know, the Geek Set podcast. We're on Sway's Universe. I'm also a voice on Watch Mojo. So, you know, uh, I'm, if you like Watch Mojo and you hear those top 10 lists, that's me. Come over there, you know what I'm saying? Show me some love. Um, and again, just like, you know, uh, Larkin, we will be at DreamCon. Uh, filming for our Black Geek documentary. And we also got something dope that we're going to announce later on. We can't announce it yet, but if you are at DreamCon and you see Geek Set anywhere, make sure you just come tap in with us, man. We're going to be doing some dope stuff and we want to include the culture. So we definitely need y'all a part of it. Hey. Yes. There y'all go, man. Well, shoot. Thank y'all again for checking out another episode. <clears throat> you can follow me everywhere at Will Farrow, P-H-A-R-A-O-H. -H. Um... You can have a dream about me next to some condoms, and then that's me being at DreamCon as well. Um, <laughs> if y'all would like to, just so it's you know, so I, I everybody was talking about DreamCon, so I was just 
It's the closest thing I can get y'all to for me to be there. <laughs> so <laughs> that's when you can check me out. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> 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 <You're saying> what? <laughs> that was the most random. <laughs> if I can make if I can make great change a whole facial expression, I have a confidence. <laughs> <laughs> but thank y'all so much for checking out this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and make sure that you turn on your notifications for every time we drop. And we always drop on the weekend, yeah, either Saturday or Sunday, and everything. And we shall catch y'all next time. Thank you for checking us out.